Hey guys, Ryan Jensen, Bob Hurley RV. Today we're looking at the 2022 Keystone Avalanche 390 DS. This is the most popular floor plan on my lot. We get more calls about this unit than any other unit. We are shooting it today because it will be gone if I do not shoot it really quickly today so you can see it. So this is an incredible floor plan. Um, Avalanche is in the uh, Keystone, Montana, Alpine, kind of that same vicinity as far as that goes. They are full profile, four, to four seasons campers, six point auto level, all the good stuff that you need to be able to camp full time. So, and, or take long trips as well. So again, it's the Avalanche 390DS. I'm excited to show you this floor plan. I'm gonna take you around the living and kitchen area real quick. First off on my right, we do have theater seats. This is a super slide built in here. Theater seats facing directly toward a large TV and an entertainment center and a fireplace. Um, this is the most popular layout. This is what everybody wants. You know, and this is actually a bunkhouse. And when you can have that in a bunkhouse and still get the nice uh, living room set up with those theater seats, big win in my book. Um, as we're going around here, I'm gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna take a look at this loft area here before we go around the circle. But this is a monster loft up there, if you can see that. That's about, I'd say, 10 feet or so of bed space. So you've got three mattresses that this comes with. However, you know, if you wanna sleep a few more up there, you totally can. This camper is one of the only campers that you truly can sleep 12 people or so if you wanted to, and you actually have the space. So very cool. Also a good idea for storage. You know, if the kiddos aren't going with you, or you just have a few kiddos, you can store obviously a lot of extra, uh, extra things up there as well. We are in the kitchen here. I'm gonna show you a few things in here. Number one, this is your storage area right there. Nice big storage right underneath your kitchen counter there. Um, you've also got this nice big island here. Uh, this is a big island. I mean, you really, from your sink to your end here, you're, you're, you know, you're about uh, two and a half feet there, which is great. Solid surface countertops. I'm gonna open a couple of these drawers over here for you just so you can see them, but there are full, fully extension drawers there. They're pretty deep, pretty wide. Notice they are plywood there, and you've got the nice metal gliders there on that drawer, which is great, and you've got four of those here. You've also got the pull-out double trash can there. I like the dual better than one. And then a little more storage over here as well in that island. So notice your farm sink is built into this island too. I shouldn't say farm sink, but dual sink is built in the island uh, with the nicer upgraded faucet there as well. And then uh, we got a little more storage up there as well above your microwave and right here as well. So they've really max maximized storage in here. I think uh, nice 18 cubic foot refrigerator. That's a uh, stainless steel 10 year warranty on those. That's a big deal. Samsung fridge and they are residential. It's there basically you can uh, they heat they, they cool down an hour. Um, but they, they run off an inverter instead of propane, but a lot cooler, a lot easier to get in and out of, and it's a lot bigger. So that's what we like about those in residential. Um, and this is just kind of a bonus. This is an extra bar area here, extra countertop space. Um, this counter camper really does have a big kitchen, you know, again, for having kind of the bunkhouse feel, they really maximized their kitchen. You've got four additional drawers here, and you've got extra storage here down below on both sides with the fuse box below and then also storage above as well. So as you can see, man, this is a monster kitchen, monster living room, and it's still a bunkhouse, so, uh, or ish, you know, and you can still get the additional space that you lose a lot of times in those bunkhouses. Let's go ahead and head back here to the back room. Let me show you this bunkhouse area as we go back so you can get a view of what this looks like back here, but I really like this area. So this is really like an additional master bedroom, you know? So depending on what you're doing, if you wanted to bring a couple extra adults, you could. My two kiddos could both sleep in that bed, you know, so an additional private room on board. You've also got extra storage here on both sides. Let me just show you this one here so it's easy for you to see it, but storage on both sides of the drawer of the bed, more storage here. Um, you can really go on and on and on. This camper has got it all. It's got more amenities than most campers out there, and we know why it's so popular. Back here in the back, this is actually a, a second full bathroom back here. So you've got your stairs here that are put inside, but that is a full walk-in shower with a toilet back here as well and a sink. Uh, most bunkhouse type fields are going to have just a half bath, you know, or just a toilet. And this is an, actually a full second bathroom on this camper. This is actually a rear entrance right there. So you can come in and out of that bathroom still uh, like a traditional floor plan and still access the bathroom here without having to walk through the whole camper. Let's go ahead and move up to the master bedroom here. Notice this is your control panel here before we do that. Um, I like this because all your slide outs are labeled. You know exactly which slides are going in and out. These are hydraulic slides in the living area. Two power awnings on board. Uh, you know, again, this is a four season camper. So you're gonna have uh, the full underbelly underneath. 
Let's go ahead and have you walk through that bathroom here and I'll meet you there in the middle. Notice this is, notice this is a dual access, so I can access it and also access it from the living room and the bedroom. But nice big shower in there, you know, nice big shower with the sink. I like the rectangle showers just because they're bigger and they're, uh, they have the seat on board. This is fully fiberglass. Um, so yeah, great shower, nice and roomy in here. It is the glass door, so it's an easier to get in and out of here as well. Um, on your right there, you've actually got some storage if you want to kind of peer around there. Um, but really good storage for bathroom there. Again, sink, mirror, toilet, pretty standard other than that, but it is a full pass-through bathroom as well if guest needs to exit it. And again, you've got that second bathroom downstairs, so you may not need to, but it's nice to have that. Um, here's your bedroom. Things I would have hit on here, this is a king bed, so you do have a full walk around king bed with a slide out. Um, you do have a second air conditioner right up there. This is a 50 amp 2AC unit. Um, I really like this little seat here just because it's very easy to get up and put your shoes off and on here, so that's a win um, in a bedroom. And then you've also got a nice big walk-in closet here. So I consider this walk-in because I can get in here and step in here. You know, it's kind of tight in here, but you can access, you know, if you want to follow me in here, you can access, you know, the full back part of this back here. Your washer dryer is actually on your right side there. So you do have a washer dryer prep as well. You can put a stackable uh, washer dryer in here as well, which is nice to have. Um, so this, this camper, guys, has really got it all. Again, it's currently available at Bob Hurley RV. We're in the 2022 Keystone Avalanche 390 DS floor plan. Come check it out today, Bob Hurley RV, 918-947-8800.